on today's edition of Bystanders at News Things. Happy New Year, viewers and reviewers. The much anticipated 2020 is here. Okay, today's edition of this program on Flip TV, we have the Punch newspaper and the Daily Sun newspaper. What are they dishing out to the world? The Punch newspaper with a very punchy one here. The major headline, minimum wage negotiations. Labor soft pedals as 15 states miss December 31 deadline. Wow. Unions give state workers go ahead to continue talks. Moving on to another story here on the front page of this same journal. My life in danger over 2023 presidency. PDP Board of Trustee Chairman speaks. Okay. Boko Haram X Men undermining agri sector, says World Bank. Boko Haram X Men undermining agri sector, says World Bank. This can be found on the page at 25 of the Punch newspaper. Court extends Adoke's detention by 14 more days. Court extends Adoke's detention by 14 more days. Accountant General queried over non disclosure of 57 billion Naira federal government grounds. All right, moving on to another story here. Down on the paper, Quara demolishes Saraki's houses on revoked land. Okay, group kicks. Quara demolishes Saraki's houses on revoked land. Group kicks. It, this can be seen on page 12 of the Punch newspaper. Others drag oil government to court over anti grazing law. Truck crushes for in Lagos Ibadan Express crash. Wow. Very tragic one there. I started planning Abuja Bank robbery in October, says Banker. All right, let's quickly move down to the Daily Sun newspaper. What is the Daily Sun telling us at the news stand? A sad story here. Six die, four injured in Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Niger crashes. Six die, four injured in Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Niger crashes. As fire raises shops in Ibadan, drunk driver kills mother of five in Imo. All right, moving on to another story here. What are governments? Descends on Saraki. Very good one here. Quara government descends on Saraki. That's a good headline. Pulls down house of ex Senate president's dad. Family to governor. You lied about allocation of land. Demolition recipe for crisis, says PDP. Demolition recipe for crisis, says PDP. Anti open grazing law. Edsmen sue or your government assembly. Edsmen sue or your government and assembly. Kaduna Abuja bound train stoned, not attacked, says management. Kaduna Abuja bound train stoned, not attacked, says management. Federal government rights to detain Shore, that's okay. Despite court orders, says Malami. Banks fail to comply with CBN's directives on ATM order charges customers kick all right you can see a picture here what is the picture illustrating some civil servants resuming work at the federal secretariat abuja after the christmas and new year holidays yesterday all right these are the stories we have on the front pages of the sun and the punch newspaper let's join our reviewers for more analysis i'll be right back About that same now, 2023 presidency, uh, the board of trustees, uh, chairman of the PDP, the People's Democratic Party, Jibril, said that uh, his life has been threatened based on the fact that he didn't uh, pick or he has not said that the candidate for 2023 should come from the Northeast. Actually, what is happening is that, let me just give you the analyst what is going to happen. Okay. Let me projection. Okay. One, it was an arrangement on my own that Buhari promised Tunubu that the next 2023 is going to be him. 
Tobu, Tunubu, hand over to Tunubu. That's one. Where did you get that information from? Yes. And in my own okay. thinking, thinking, that was going to happen. Okay. That is why Tunubu supported Guare in second time. Right. So that the power will shift to the southwest. Okay. And who is going to come out there is Tunubu. Now, the argument is that they look that the, the northern and believe that the power cannot shift now to the south to the south. Now, what they are planning now, they will not bring somebody under opposition, under PDP. A Tico might come out, or somebody might come out. Now, they believe that the South is, this house is supposed to have got to that presidency, but I don't think they have the majority. Now, they will not shift that thing back to the North, under opposition. I don't know what I mean. It might be a Tico. I don't know what I mean. So, that thing is working. They believe that APC, under APC presidency in North, cannot go again. I don't know what I mean. They, they want to push that body to under PDP. So that I believe for BAT to be saying that there's something arrangement going on which Tulubu doesn't understand. So I believe that the, the, the BOT man anything you see that's what is happening. I don't know what I mean. They must be planning for one person, one particular person. Maybe another person under PDP. Atiko might be angry but I believe that it's Atiko that want to go second time. And if Atiko contest with Tulubu Definitely half of the North will vote for Atiko. Then the South East. The Atiko has already vice president under OP. That's what I mean. So that means the Ibo will support. Why the South South will support before you know majority will go to the North back. So two people will lose the power. So I believe what is happening uh, under PDP now, they are looking for somebody, a very popular person. So maybe the BOT, how do you see? It's a way of deception, you know? He said he has been receiving uh, anonymous calls. Uh, they leave, uh, yes, the reason is that they want to retain their power. The call is receiving. What is it? Who, who, who? Oh, this might be Jamboree. I won't tell you like. It might be a way of, uh, you know, attention of PDP. But if this PDP can put the house in order, I don't believe a northern man under APC in the north okay. will got the power. Not, they are very smart. They are very smart. So they might they don't want to lose that power. They knew that Ibo, Ibo yes, if Ibo stand, now the only person obstacle for Ibo is Ozikalo, which is in prison now. I don't understand me. I don't know. So I don't think Kodomadu can stand with it without the support of Southwest. So Tunubu is coming out. So somebody from north under opposition will come out and contact with Tunubu. By by then, Bware will step back. If, that's what I mean. Because it's a plan that not to continue power. So that is it. All this thing, uh, threatening or not threatening, it's a way maybe between them, they are trying to, you know, salad most of the big two. They say, no, that power is coming back to not. Under opposition, they will pretend for you know, you know, not one way. But then uh, to Rakistan and who again, they might bring out of fire. All of them will not push to that opposition. Now, do you think Atiko should be given an automatic ticket for 2023? Atiko. Atiko. Atiko, let me tell you. Sorry now. For not now. For not now. It's Atiko. If you want to go, if the power permits him to go, the age, it's Atiko. I won't tell you like. But the reason is that one. Atiko has the money, has the people, popularity, and the only person on that PDP. The under PDP, he can divide the southwest, and the south south will go, and south east will go, and we can promise the south east that the next only going to spend four years and hand over to the south east. You see, that is the game. Because now, let me tell you, if two people come out, the north at least, if you watch some of the big do in the north, they are saying the powers to the north that a pastor John have ruled for eight years. That uh, South, uh, South Jonathan have ruled for six years. Okay. Uh, six years. So the North only ruled for uh, that year. I do rule only two years. So they want to complete their their this. If you check the other civil regime. So I believe that that is all this is happening now. PDP is going to carry the day. And if Tunubu stand there, they will just waste his money. Thank you so much. And move down to uh, Saraki. We have See, it on the front page of uh, the Daily Sun newspaper. Kwara government descends on Saraki, his house. 
was demolished. See, let me tell you something. It's a politics. No, it's not his own house. It's father's house. But they, 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 almost uh, if you check where they demolish, to now Saraki house, almost about how many minutes to Saraki house, they, they fire some bullet. I, 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 I watch it in TV. They fire some bullet to his house. It's political with hunting. And the government there, the, I believe the government are using the government. They want to finish Saraki. And I pity the minister, the family, the woman, Abuka Saraki, minister, under his nose. It's a shame that what the legacy of the father put down are being demolished by this administration. But let me tell you something. It's just four years, why do we go out? Saraki is still going to rain. It's still going to rain. If, I, if listen, no, if uh, Atiko didn't go, Saraki, my surprise, go. They'll play the game. Saraki, disgusting Saraki opened this in now. It might be a result of the thing I'm going to help him at the end. I don't know. He might become the president. If Atiko didn't go, I don't know. My last with the Ibos. So, so Saraki will be, be another option. He will see. So they are trying to frustrate him. They are trying to frustrate him. But let me tell you, this, if they start now, in these four years, there's going to be trauma. It's going to be another government. I believe this government should just calm down, allow peace to reign. Yes. If they want to calm down those who want who disturb them, I don't think the government move forward. Right. We are going to suffer. The bastards will suffer it. Right. Already, we have already seen it. It's too early. First of all, I first say Happy New Year to the happy all Nigerians. Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year to Mr. President, okay. Mr. President Mahmoud Buhari. Okay. And I say Happy New Year to the governors, everybody in Nigeria, all the senators, everybody. But what I can say concerning the issue for the man, the brother, the president of PDP, and Atiku. I always say something concerning Atiku. Atiku should not be eager for something. You should remember that anything God says concerning human beings, you surely do it. If you are looking for something, say, how do I do or die? It should be possible. I said something in Osho State. Before, when uh, Mr. President, uh, former President uh, uh, Jonathan, I said, he will lose the election that he's going to do. And I said, if you lose that election, before you get to any power you had, well, I was saying this matter with some PDP member. They said, I lie. I say, that's what I see. And since there, it happened. I'm not a pastor, but I believe one thing by God. Anything God says, you will not change it. I think we should be accepted. down. You should not be looking for something by eager. You know what I mean? Look at him, leave APC, go to PDP because of he want to be a president. You know, it's, it's not if, you, if you go to any party, you do anything, you have a billion, you have a trillion, it's so that it can help you. If you go, it's not give you the king. You can't be king. You know what I mean? Let us go just big himself and worship God and leave everything for God. Say, God, let your wish be done concerning my life. Now, now, do you think Atiku should be given an automatic ticket by the PDP? If he, God say he belong to him, they will give him. But what I'm saying is that it's not only Atiku in the PDP. There's many people there. Many people good more than Atiku is there. He should, you know, he should let the party sit down and to research for somebody that people who follow, not by money. You know what I mean? Let people know who, who is good for the party to, even though in the APC, like uh, in Oshu State, this uh, 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 former, former governor of Oshu State and senator, when he died, you know, you see, recently, when your brother contests, uh, uh, I forget their family. Uh, Adeleke. Adeleke family. Okay. Oshun State. Okay, okay. The man that died, me, I'm APC. I love the man. Everybody, both APC, both PDP, everybody, any woman be like the man because the man is very good. When the man is in the power, he lets the people know that it's a money and he makes people happy. When the man left the power, he makes people know that. 
this thing belong to you, take it, take it. The man was making people happy. That is in your show state. Both people in the that family, they love the family and they love that man. You know, if the man is alive, the man is supposed to be in the governor in your show state now. Because everybody will vote for the man. Not because of the party, because of what the man is doing. The man is very good. You know what I mean? He live life. He don't say this on APC. He don't say this on uh, na PDP. He make everything easy. And he look people that is poor. He help people. If you went there, someone that maybe ah, I'm a driver, so I don't have money to buy a car. He buy for you. He buy a car. He buy a machine. He give them money. He want to do name. He do many many things for people. He make the people around him enjoying him. But some uh, political people now, they say the time they need you. They will be bringing money and share for people. You know what I mean? Huh? Look at what Atiku is doing for many years. He, he forced himself to be a president. He cannot be president because he's not waiting for the time of God. He should sit down and reason very well. You know what I mean? Huh? And pray very well to God. He's not, he, even though the time they don't even believe God can make it be possible for him. If you go say he's not going to pray and he forces himself, he cannot be. If you go to 29, it's very far. You, you cannot be. And the Bible says, it should be the take what we will eat tomorrow. Talk about 2023, and we are doing 2023 now. If you go say you know be that time, no, can you can you tell God what to do? No, 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 no. If you wait in 2023 now. All right, thank you so much for your contribution. Yeah. Nice one from you. Thank you so much, Vice Senator South News Tennis. Let's join more reviewers for more talks. Ah, very good. Saraki. Saraki. Yeah. Okay. Saraki's uh, house was demolished. Talking about Saraki Dad's house demolished by the uh, state government of the state. Uh, when I heard the news this morning, I've been hearing the matter before. When I heard the news this morning, they built the house. Actually, what I see concerning the issue, uh, when Saraki family is ruining the state, I always tell people, I always tell people, any power God gives you, use it very well. Anytime you be head for somewhere, don't use the power to say, I'm head of this place. I'll be taking the opportunity and do many things and nobody can talk. Do you know that small picking that I cannot talk that time, it can be headed tomorrow. And once you use power collect, it can collect it back. You know what I mean? Huh? Saraki should cool down. It's not only Saraki, it's not, it's not only Saraki in Father Bon. Saraki family, they are doing their own. And that person has come now. This is a time for them to remember one or two things when they are seen before they cannot talk. So what Saraki needs now, it should make a peace with them to, because the people is in people. They are the same, all of them. And the, what they wanted to build there, it's you, it's you remember that a family can still come to that place tomorrow to benefit in that place. Not because of today, it's because of say they collect land. And the land, according to Nigeria Constitution 1999, Papa just say every land belongs to government. And all of us belong to government already. And everything that belongs to government is the government will get and take the land. Saraki should she cool down. Let's go and do the meet and settle the issue. Right, it's not the issue that Nigeria will not take it as a personal issue and take it anyhow. Right. That's what I mean. This present government in power, this present APC government in power, uh, if you watch it, even before 2019 election, which will expire in 2023, even then they are working both in hand in hand. When, when they are trying to hold 2019 election, they are still working on the ground against 2023. What, who, who are the ones working on the ground? The government in power. Number one, you have to understand that the government in power are fearing that any year, any time the power is loose out of their hand, they may be in mess. Because that time, the mess, the mess, the shit, the feces, the drop in ash rock will be coming out to smell openly. Now, they are working hard so that they will still return the power in 2023 so that they can be able to cover up the, the, their deeds. But, but, but coming back to what this man said, he said, 
his life is being threatened based on the fact that he has not uh, really uh, given his word uh, to the Northeast. He has not you know, picked candidates uh, automatically from the Northeast. He gave uh, that free space, that free ground for uh, presidential candidates or for members to come up with ideas whether the PDP presidential candidate should be from the southwest or from the northeast or from the uh, uh, southeast. Uh, 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 you see, this man, he's right on what he's saying. If there's no threat, he cannot come out and start shouting. And the, uh, 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 the present government in power know that people like this, they are one of the timber and calibers. In Nigerian politics, not in PDP. In Nigerian politics, Aminu, Jibri, I mean, yes, Jibri. They are one of the people that to hold the strong foundation of Nigerian politics, both north and south. It's just like when Akadibo was alive. They are the people that to hold strong ground in Nigerian politics. Now, this man, they know what he can do. They were able to rob Atiku. I'm not sure if this man come out, they can be able, still be able to rob him. Because now, if you come to Nigeria, North Central have ruled militarily. Babangide is from North Central. Uh, 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 Abu Salam, North Central. General Yankub Gowan, North Central. Although, coming to a civilian aspect of it, they have a rule. Now, if you come to Northwest, they have rule. Shagari was there. Uh, 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 the president, pre president was there. If you come to West, they have rule. Atiku, I mean, uh, uh, Baba, Baba Sanjo was there. They have rule two times. Now, if you come, the not, 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 not uh, is having forever in time in life produce president in Nigeria. Even the president haven't produced. It was only uh, 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 um, this man from GNPP that time, um, Waziri, Ibrahim Waziri, who made uh, an impact in 19, so 1979 election and 2000 and, uh, and the 1983 election, a man who said that his own politics is politics without bitterness. So, no, no, I mean, uh, uh, what? Waziri, North East, he came from North East, from Bronu. Waziri, Ibrahim Waziri. He's the only the person that have made impact from North East that time. Now the next person is Sachiku. They deny him. Now if this one is from North East, they should allow him to go. Neither North East or South East should produce. You understand what I'm saying? So now they will be threatening this man not to come because they will look a way to, to have a, 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 a weak cabinet that cannot contest with them. I mean, based on what I, what I, what I read there, I, I just learned that uh, some members of the party said Atiku should be given automatic tickets. Uh, very fine, very fine. Based on the fact that if he lost the 2019 it, election. Yeah, he did not lose. They, were, they robbed him. Don't say loss. They robbed him. And because he's a man who have a a, a, a human heart, not animalistic heart. He's a man who prefers human life. If it's like people in other people, they will cause chaos. They will make the government to be ungovernable, as the majority want to be ungovernable. But he knew he's a man of integrity, a man of respect, a man who prefers life of others as he prefers his own life, that he keep calm. Okay, now let's quickly move down to what we, are, we have here. But before, before, before we move, move on, I don't think 2023 is too early to talk about. Yes, 2023 is too early. But the present power, the present party in power started it. And when they, they, they robbed Atiku, they start campaigning. 2023, even uh, the, the Jagaba, the national leader of uh, uh, APC, started his own at the initial stage. So if your opponent started early, you have to do what? To attack him early. You don't need to fold your hand. Yeah, to, to, so they are creating awareness. They, they're creating awareness. Okay, let's, let's move down to another story here. 
Saraki's uh, dad's house was demolished in uh, Kwara. So what's uh, your own view? Some people have kicked against what happened, saying that it shouldn't be why some said that each, uh, it was okay uh, that the decision of the government in, in the state was very, very okay, that the land was not uh, acquired in a legitimate way. If the land did not acquire in a legitimate way, where were the people of Kwara when the land we are, first of all, acquired? Where, where were the Obas? Where were the uh, Sarakis? Where were the uh, 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 Bales? Where were the uh, Emias in Kwara State when the land we are acquired? Since Saraki have acquired that land, how many governments have existed? How many governments have gone? At least since Saraki have acquired that land, military governments have existed. Civil governments have existed. Is it now that the Kwara people are waking up from sleep? Is it now the Kwara government are waking up from sleep? Because now they are falling long ahead with, uh, with, uh, with uh, 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 the President Saraki. Now, let me tell you, the problem of Saraki family is from Saraki family. If Saraki's sister did not rise up against his brother and push him out from government, it would not be so. If this person, the son of Olushara Saraki, Bukola Saraki, is still in power, it cannot happen. Because they have found that the man is no more in power. Because his family have betrayed him. His sister have joined a, a, a PC to, to betray him. Now his sister should see what he have done in his father's legacy, in her father's legacy. Now, that's number one. Number two, if that land is not properly acquired, there's a way to follow it. They could have taken him to court. Then ask him, now that you do, you, you do this thing, or you forfeit the land. Now, there's a way to do it. They should bring the, to go to the uh, 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 town planning. If, there, if, if there's no document covering it, or the plan don't have plan, it's a, a different thing. But if there's a document that, that uh, back it up and the place has a plan, but he did not pay for the land, they let him go and pay for the land. Because they put so many structures there, which they put down. Now, who is going to be responsible for that structure? Okay, now, if you're taking your land back, let the Saraki family or Bukola Saraki come out and tell them what is spent on that land. Let, him, let them balance it back. And meanwhile, federal government don't need to acquire that land. Let the owners of the land, let the indigenous of the land come out for their land. That is what I'm saying. Government did not own the land. It was individual. That land is an ancestral land, not government land. It's an ancestral land. Bible say, don't change the ancient landmark. And the federal government is changing the, I mean the government of Kwara State is changing the ancient land, jumping on the land they did not own. Or let the indigenous of the land, the owners of the land, rise up, start fighting Saraki family. Now, do you think this is uh, motiv politically motivated? It's politically motivated. It's politically motivated. When Olushara Saraki achieved in 1982 or so, when Shakari government want to borrow money or so, looking. 1983 or so, people were asking Nigeria government, what type of money you want to borrow? One man in Nigeria can give government that money. That only one person in Nigeria, in Nigeria, his money is more than the whole West African government money. They mentioned the man, Olushara Saraki. That time, Kwara were with him. He feeding them. They were eating and dying with, with him. Now, those people, maybe, if, watch out. The people are doing this work, the people that eat from Saraki Post, the people he gives all sheep, watch them, trust them, they are the ones. Pay him back, evil with good. I am not in support if they acquire that land illegally. I'm not in support. But as far as they have developed that place, they should be compromised. And this is where we say goodbye on today's edition of Bice in the South East Times. Make sure you join us next time as we bring you trending stories in Nigeria. Of course, you know Michael Adekunle is my name. The man behind the camera this time around is Allah.
Ola, very, very good. Ola, very, very good. Editor, Ola Ibitoye. Keep it real. Good one from you. Okay, in the studio, Mike Elojo, also keeping it real on Flip TV. Till I join you next time on this same platform, keep having a good day. Bye.